Hello. In the previous two lessons, we covered automatic relations, and then we followed it with manually adding relations to an existing sketch. The next step is adding dimensions. In SOLIDWORKS, we call them smart dimensions. But before we get started, it is important to mention that most people agree the proper method or the proper order in creating a sketch is first, automatic relations. Second, if necessary, manually add additional relations. And this is what smart dimensions come into play. So basically, adding your geometric relations first, followed by your dimensions. So let's begin. I'm going to start a new sketch in the front plane. Then you go to line tool, select my first point, and notice when I stretch this line out, I receive a feedback on the cursor, 83 millimeters. This is for reference only. If I left mouse click, it will not lock that line at 83 millimeters. It is a smart dimension that will lock it to a specific value. This 83 for reference only. So for example, if I want to finish sketch line to be 80 millimeters, it is need to be in the ballpark between 75 and 85. So I'm going to hit the left mouse click, skip out of the line command. Notice if I grab the end of the line, I can make it longer or shorter because that number was for reference only. However, if I add a smart dimension, select the middle of the line, hold the dimension off, and place the dimension. I can key in the correct value. Now, even if that a dialog box, in SOLIDWORKS we refer to this spin box, because we have this spin wheel to change the value, or we have the up-down arrows but most people key in the value. So I'm going to key in 80, select the green check mark, close out of the dimension command. And notice I can move the line, but I can't change the length. It is locked down to 80. So if I want to change that 80, I simply double click on the number and key in the new value. Now, you may have noticed that when I applied this smart dimension, I was having a little difficult because I can't balance between the two length that you see here and linear values, a vertical distance or a horizontal distance. So it's very jumpy. So notice at my cursor, I have a graphic as a mouse and the right mouse button is highlighted. So once you get the orientation or the dimension you are looking for, let's say the vertical, you can click the right mouse click from the point on. No matter where you move the cursor to, you will only receive a vertical distance. Key the correct value, click the green shake mark, and now we have 60 vertical dimension. I will close out of the smart dimension command. I'm going to create a circle. Notice again that the radius is for reference only. I will go to Smart Dimension command. We call it Smart Dimension because when you select a piece of geometry, SOLIDWORKS knows what type of dimensions you need. Notice I have the diameter of 90. I can key in the correct value and click the green check mark. Let's see the dimension from the center point to this end point. And I set this value to be 200. And I realize at a later time, this point of this dimension should have been over here. I will drag this point to this location and type the 200. And notice, I can adjust the dimension or reposition a dimension. Lastly, notice it is giving me a diameter of 100. Let's say I want the output to be the radius. So I simply left mouse click on it and a property manager opens, I select layers, then I select radius, and notice we have now a radius output. So that was all for this video, thank you for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more, have a nice day and until the next video.